Hello everyone. In this INR number 103, we are going to discuss another important uh, PYQ which is called as best disease. Right. So what is best disease also known as best vitelliform macular dystrophy. Right. So this is the another name best vitelliform macular dystrophy, which is a inherited retinal dystrophic disorder autosomal dominant inheritance right so this is a retinal disorder autosomal dominant inheritance and best one gene is having mutation here right so as i said these are the retinal dystrophy which will affect the macula what is macula it is a central part of the retina right and what will happen in this central part of the retina there will be abnormal fluid right so abnormal fluid will be accumulated and ion transport will be affected right so this will affect the macula abnormal fluid and ion transport will be affected where in the retinal pigment epithelial cells right so that retinal pigment epithelial cell all these things will happen right so what will happen because of this there will be a buildup of lipofusion into the retinal pigment epithelial cell so this is the one important thing in the best disease so what will happen because of this pathology what you will understand that on fundus examination when you will see you will find the egg yolk appearance which is also called as vitelliform appearance right so egg yolk appearance or vitelliform appearance is a classical circular yellow lesion in the macula which will be resembling the egg yolk so you can see here that this is the classical circular egg yolk like lesion which we are seeing in the egg yolk appearance of the best disease right or when at the later stage right it can have a scrambled egg appearance so there are two fundal appearance egg yolk appearance and a scrambled you can see this is the scrambled egg appearance right so yellow material will break up and the pigmentation of the macula will be causing mottled appearance right so this is the mottling so pigment has been broken up you can see that broken up the yellow pigment is there so this is getting, giving a mottled appearance and that is the appearance of a scrambled egg right so this is a, scram a scrambled egg appearance of the best disease and optical coherence tomography when you will see the optical coherence tomography that same thing we will see that right you will see the subretinal fluid and lipofusion accumulation into the retinal pigment epithelium which i have discussed in the pathology of this disease right so you can see optical coherence tomography and now here you can see that retinal pigment epithelium has been detached and lipofusion has been accumulated here so fluid and lipofusion is accumulated in this area right so this is oct scan what is the uh, investigation of choice in this patient so that is important electrooculogram is investigation of choice and in this electrooculogram what we measure we measure arden ratio remember what is arden ratio it is also called as electrooculogram ratio it is a ratio of light peak and dark trough right so light peak means light in light uh, adaptation what is the peak that will be the one part and second part will be the dark adaptation which will be minimum height so now you can see that light peak means maximum height and dark peak which is the minimum height so ratio between the light to dark remember ratio between the light to dark is called as arden ratio and normal value of arden ratio is 1.85 to 2 right so that is more than more than 1.85 or you can say 185 percent but in case of best disease this ardent ratio will be less than 1.5 so now you can see normal uh, electro oculogram you can see ardent ratio is 2.18 or 2.30 it is beyond 1.85 but when you are going to see the best disease so in this case what will happen you can see the dark and light so light phase you can see light phase has gone down and that is why this ratio will become less and it will become less than 1.5 so that will be diagnostic of the best disease, right? So keep revising these topics, best wishes for your exam.